So our topic here is operator overloading in C++. So this is a fascinating topic and interviewers like to ask questions on it. So let's see about operator overloading. Okay. So first let's take an example. So we have a class rational number. Okay. And here I define a public constructor. So rational number int numerator is equal to zero. Denominator is equal to one. Okay. So this way I define and I give the default values to the numerator and denominator so that I can have a implicit into rational number conversion. Okay. So what happens is that if I give in the code something like rational number R. Okay. And I write just a five. So it means it will now automatically take numerator as five and denominator as one. Okay. So get num numerator and get denominator are two of its member functions and other methods as you like. Okay. So now let's see, I want to write now a multiplication. So if I have something like int a is equal to two, B is equal to five and C. So I can know that, okay, C is equal to A into B. I can write and C will become equal to 10. But I want something like this with my class rational number. Okay. So if I write rational R1 is equal to five and rational number R2 as one comma so I want that okay when I multiply r1 into r2 and let's say it will be r3 is equal to r1 into r2 so I should get r3 which is 5 by 10 okay so it will become 1 by 2 so I should get something like this for this class object also so how to do that so we would like here comes operator overloading so in case of class objects, if we want that, okay, some operators should work. So we should use operators here. So I will write const rational number operator star. Okay. So this is the special keyword operator star star const rational number ampersand RHS. So let's see what happens. So I'm giving a argument to this function as const rational number reference to it. Okay. RHS and a, I'm returning also a const rational number. So what will I implement? I will say rational number temp and I will say temp dot num is equal to this arrow num into RHS dot num and start this dot denominator into RHS dot denominator. So I basically multiply the numerator and denominator from this class and the class object given in as the argument and then I return temp. Okay. So we want to see now how it works. So what happens in operator overloading is that if let's say I write something like I have so rational number. So R1 as 1 comma 5 and R2 as 2 comma 15 okay so we have two rational numbers and what happens is that i will say that okay rational number r3 is equal to r1 into r2 okay so this is fine now even for classes it is working and how because of this function that we have written so what happens underneath is when this is called so it sees between two objects of this class it sees a star operator so it comes to the class and finds is there any operator overloading defined here in the class and it sees there is a operator overloaded method in the class of function so what it does now it will call r1 and it will replace r star by dot and operator star and this thing now becomes r2 becomes whatever is this is passed to the function as argument. So R1 dot operator star R2. So here it comes and R1. So this pointer will be there. It will multiply and give you the result back. Okay. 
so here so this r2 is the argument r1 has the, this pointer so it has some numerator and denominator which we can access using this pointer so this numerator this denominator which is the numerator and denominator for r1 and it gets multiplied by the corresponding numerator and denominator of r2 which is passed as argument to this operator star function and hence we get the result back okay so result r3 will now become equal to this temp which has numerator is equal to this dot numerator into rhs numerator and so forth okay so now let's see so this is all fine and we see that okay when we have rational number 1 8 and 1 third so 1 8 if i say and 1 comma 8 i pass so numerator becomes 1 denominator becomes 8 and similarly rational number 1 third numerator becomes 1 denominator becomes 3 and so this is fine as we saw result is equal to result into one third is also fine because again it will work we had some result and so but let's see what happens to other things but what happens to mixed mode so what is mixed mode i want a number integer and a rational number multiplied will it work so let's see result is equal to one third dot operator star two so will this work one thirds into two so it will work why because now when i write this so one third into two it sees so after this object one third is which is an object of rational number so it sees star after it so it will do what the compiler it will write one third dot operator star it will pass two now we see that two what will happen is that we see this class had a implicit conversion of integer to rational numbers why because the numerator by default is 0 and denominator by default is 1 so if you just pass one argument denominator becomes 1 so here what is happening is so if we pass 2 so the numerator becomes 2 and denominator becomes 1 for 1 temporary object that is created here and now we get the result so this is fine so this happened because one third star two so one third star means now it will look for a operator overloaded method but what happens if we say two dot operator so something like we write instead of here so if we do result is equal to two into one third so two star one third so there is no this is not a class and so it will not get a overloaded method so that it can call something this one as argument so we will get an error okay so no associated class will be there for two and hence no operator start overloaded method so what can be the solution if i want to a mixed mode operation also besides the rational number multiplication so i will write const rational number operator star so i define a method outside a function outside and i pass now two arguments so now star has become overloaded here by this function and it gets two arguments so const rational number ampersand lhs so it will be between two objects of this type so what happens now is return rational number it will return lhs dot get numerator into rhs dot get numerator and lhs dot get denominator rhs dot get numerator so it will return this type of uh, an object of class rational number whose numerator is the multiplication of both the numerators of the with arguments and denominator is the denominator of the arguments okay multiplication of the denominators so we see and what happens this is not a class function so we now don't need to write this operator overloaded star operator method in the class but we write it outside the class and rational number so this now what happens is that when you do rational number one comma five which is one fifth one object and if i do one five into two so what happens is now it will see so this is an object of type rational number it will see a star and then a two so this will now because this operator is overloaded for this 
particular class so it will see okay so it will say that okay left one becomes the lhs which is the left object okay so the left object 1 5 becomes the left lhs for that function and right one becomes the rhs okay so this way it gets multiplied and returns a rational number back similarly here now also what happens now because LHS can still be a number and it will now use the implicit constructor to make it a rational number with numerator 2 and denominator 1 and so this will become an object of rational number class and 1 5 is object and it can be passed and if it is uh, 1 5 into 1 5 so still this will also work because again both are rational number objects okay so this by this class so tutorial we learnt about operator overloading and how it works okay so